All right, let's talk about figuring out how much solar you're actually going to need for your off-grid setup, whether you want to run a mini fridge, a microwave, a plastic welder, or heck, maybe just this lamp. If you look at the data plate on almost any electrical device, you're going to find its volts AC and how many amps it uses. Since amps times volts equals watts, and we need to know how many watts of solar power we need, those are the numbers you need to know for the devices you want to run. For simplicity's sake, let's say that a mini fridge pulls one amp at 150 volts. That'll be 150 watts. Now, how long is that fridge going to be running in a day? Let's say 24 hours, but your refrigerator's compressor is only running about 30% of the time. If it's running 30% of a 24 hour day, that means it's drawing 150 watts for 7.2 hours. Multiply 150 watts by 7.2 hours and you get 1,080 watt hours. For now, we'll call that the number for this fridge, but it'll come into play later. Let's say you go through and do all that math for everything you want to run, and you come up with a total of 5,000 watt hours as your final number for daily energy needs. Next up, you need to know how much sunlight your area gets, specifically how many hours the sun hits your panels at a good angle. This varies by location, but you can look it up online to find your average radiance over the year. Where I am, I get about five hours of solid sunlight. If you take that total final number of 5,000 watt hours and divide it by the average radiance in your area, five hours, you come up with the number of watts your system needs to generate per hour. In this case, 5,000 divided by five equals about 1,000 watts, or you can say one kilowatt. That's the actual output, which is important. This calculation doesn't factor in batteries, which we'll cover tomorrow. As a rule of thumb, to account for inefficiencies and additional cloudy days, I always take that number and multiply it by 125%. In our example, 1000 watts multiplied by 125% equals 1250 watts. So to run everything you want, you need 1250 watts of actual solar production per hour of time. Your solar panels are in the sun. Check out a solar panel specs. For example, one might say max power at STC 100 watts. That STC rating is under ideal circumstances, which where I live might happen maybe a week out of the year. On average, panels churn out about 80% of their STC rating. So to hit your 1,250 watt goal, how many 100 watt panels do you need? Since you can't slice panels into pieces, you'll need 16 of them. Those 16 panels are rated for 1,562 watts, but will likely give you around 1,250 watts on average. That was a quick and dirty way to figure out how many solar panels you're actually going to need to run what you want. I know that was a lot, but if you watch this video a couple of times and write it out for yourself, it's actually pretty straightforward. Tomorrow's video will take all of this information into account and figure out how much battery storage you need.